Hi, it's Katrina. Number 10. The Giant Squid The Giant Squid is not only one of the biggest deep-sea creatures in the world, but also one of the most terrifying. The biggest giant squid ever recorded by scientists was nearly 43 feet long, with a weight of up to one ton. But despite being roughly the size of a bus, the giant squid is one of the most elusive animals in the ocean. They live in extremely deep water, they're quick, and they don't typically get caught in fishing nets. Scientists only get to study them when they float up dead on the beach usually. The first giant squid wasn't seen in its natural habitat until 2012, thanks to scientists with Japan's National Science Museum. But why in the world are giant squids so big when all other squids are tiny in comparison? One hypothesis is that the giant squid managed to reach its gargantuan size because it was the only way for it to survive a dangerous underwater world full of predators. Due to its large size, the only predator that exists for the giant squid is the sperm whale. Scientists have pulled the beaks of giant squid and undigested pieces of squid from the stomachs of sperm whales. Plus, sperm whales found on the beach often have sucker marks on their skin from undersea battles with squid. Nobody has ever seen one of these duels, but we do know that they happen. Giant squid live deep underwater in the twilight zone, at depths between 1,000 feet to about 2,000 feet. Because they live so deep, they have adapted to their environment. Giant squid have the largest eye in the animal kingdom. Their eyes can be up to 10 inches in diameter and are able to pick up any tiny amount of light that passes through into the deep sea. We still have a lot to learn about the giant squid, but because it lives so deep underwater, it's almost like trying to visit another planet. Number 9. Whale Sharks Through millions of years of evolution, whale sharks have grown to be the largest fish in the world. And yet nobody knows exactly how big these fish can get. Some say the maximum size is about 59 feet in length and around 34 tons. But this is just a rough estimate because the limit of the fish's growth has never been discovered. The craziest part about the whale shark isn't its size, but how it manages to get so big. Like all of the biggest animals that have ever roamed the earth, whale sharks eat large amounts of tiny prey. The biggest dinosaurs the world ever saw munched on small bits of plants all day and grew to be titans. Cows and bulls spend their days grazing grass, and they grow to be enormous. The whale shark, which is significantly bigger than the great white shark, eats nothing but tropical krill and mycids. It eats extraordinarily small marine animals that look like tiny shrimp no longer than your fingernail. These creatures are so small that even we wouldn't eat them for dinner. They also sometimes eat really tiny fish and crab, and if they have a chance, fish eggs. Whale sharks focus on eating microscopic prey because there is simply an abundance of it. Sharks arrive in coastal areas during spawning season to eat baby fish and tiny crabs. Other sharks have to spend a lot of energy hunting big prey, but whale sharks can be exceptionally lazy. All they need to do is open their mouths, filter the food from the water, and keep on swimming. Number 8. Blue Giants For the past two decades, biologist Jeremy Goldbogen has been trying to figure out why whales are so big. We know modern whales are the biggest animals to ever grace the planet, but nobody is really sure why. Through his years of study, Jeremy has been able to put together a few pieces of the puzzle. He learned that gigantism is closely connected to two main things. The first is what they eat, and the second is the timing of their evolution. Whales evolved at the exact same time as a global increase in nutrient-rich water bubbling up from the depths of the ocean. The very first whales evolved to feed on plankton, extraordinarily small sea bugs that drift through the oceans. Then, about 10 million years ago, some whales developed a new way of feeding. It's called lunge feeding, and it involves opening the whale's mouth to gulp up entire schools of fish. It became known that the bigger the mouth was, the more food one could shove into their belly. This was almost certainly the motivation behind growing to such preposterous sizes. Not only for the blue whale, which can grow to be over 100 feet long and weigh over 150 tons, but for all whales. The more food it can eat, the better chance it has at surviving and producing offspring. Number 7. The Japanese Spider Crab The Japanese spider crab can grow to be over 12 feet long. 
It's a scary creature that lives at the bottom of the ocean and looks like a living nightmare. It's obviously nothing but an ordinary crab with really long legs. Yet in the dark depths of the ocean, it looks like a hairy water spider crawling around on its gangly limbs. These crabs are so big and so powerful, they have been known to pinch off human fingers using their claws. Here's another crazy fact about the largest crab in the world. They can live longer than humans can. The Japanese spider crab can live for at least 100 years and has been around for millions of years. The older the crab gets, the bigger it gets. And that's the main reason it can grow so big, because it has such a long lifespan. It only needs to stay alive to get bigger and bigger. Each time a Japanese spider crab molts and sheds its shell, it grows a new one and gets a teeny tiny bit bigger. But it all adds up. And 40 years later, the crab is bigger than a person. Number 6. Giant Jellies Jellyfish have a huge range of sizes. Some jellyfish are nearly microscopic, so small you can hardly see them, while other jellies can grow to be over 6 feet wide and have tentacles extending over 100 feet. Take the lion's mane jellyfish, for example. It's one of the largest marine creatures in the world and one of the biggest jellyfish ever seen. The largest known specimen was 120 feet from the tip of its bell to the end of its tentacles. The lion's mane jellyfish is also extremely dangerous. Its huge tentacles are filled with neurotoxins that can kill. If you were underwater and found yourself tangled in a net of lion's mane tentacles, you could be poisoned to the point where you stop breathing and drown. Jellyfish grow to giant sizes for a variety of reasons. The most obvious of which is that they've been around for an estimated 300 to 505 million years. They are some of the oldest creatures on the planet, which is why they are so diverse. There are over 2,000 known species of jellyfish, and each one is unique both in appearance and behavior. After 500 million years of evolution, it makes sense that some jellyfish would grow to massive proportions. Have you ever seen a giant jellyfish while swimming in the ocean? Let me know in the comments below and be sure to subscribe if you haven't already for more videos like these. Number 5. The Mola Mola The genome of the largest bony fish in the world was recently analyzed by a group of scientists, including Nobel laureate Sidney Brenner. Scientists now believe they know why the ocean sunfish, also known as the Mola Mola, grows to be such a ridiculously big fish. The ocean sunfish can grow to be nearly 9 feet long. However, what's really impressive is that they can weigh up to 2.3 tons, and its diet primarily consists of jellyfish. Oddly enough, jellyfish are considered nutritionally poor, devoid of any real sustenance that should be necessary for building such bulk in an animal. Another wild thing about the ocean sunfish is that it grows at an unnatural speed. The fish grows over twice as quickly per day as other fish, while the female is able to produce more eggs than any other vertebrate in the world. The female can lay 300 million eggs at a time, and those babies will grow at roughly 2.2 pounds each day. The babies are also extremely small, so tiny you could fit thousands of them in the palm of your hand. The tiny fish grow and grow until they become monsters. Looking at the genome, scientists believe they've figured out an explanation for the massive size of the sunfish and for its fast growth rate. They identified several genes connected to growth hormone that make the sunfish grow more quickly compared to other fish. This phenomenon explains its huge size. The mola mola has a special gene that tells it to grow faster, and this triggers an exponential growth curve as it becomes enormous. Number 4. The Megalodon The biggest shark that ever lived has been extinct for at least 3 million years. The Megalodon was replaced by modern sharks, wiped out long before humans ever had a chance to hunt them to extinction ourselves. The Megalodon lived all around the globe, in just about every ocean except for the North and South Poles. They could grow to be a minimum of three times longer than the biggest great white shark that ever lived maxing out anywhere between 50 feet and 82 feet long. Nobody knows exactly how big the Megalodon was because nobody has ever found a complete skeleton. The Megalodon, just like modern sharks, was a creature without bones. It had a skeleton formed entirely out of cartilage. 
For this reason, there is no possible way for humans today to find a megalodon skeleton. It's just impossible, as 3 million years has seen every last giant shark skeleton decay. The only reason we even know about them at all is because of their teeth, and that's where all the outrageous guesses at their length come from. But even if the megalodon was almost 100 feet long, how did it get so big? It has something to do with a principle called Bergman's Rule. This rule states that the temperature of a certain environment will always affect the body size of an animal because of the need to either conserve or reduce heat. In the case of the megalodon, researchers found that the biggest of them all lived at higher latitudes. The ocean beast was already big because it was an apex predator that evolved over millions of years to be massive. But it grew even bigger in colder environments because it needed the bulk to stave off the cold. This was most likely part of what caused the prehistoric sharks to go extinct. As the water grew so cold, they just couldn't cope any longer or eat enough food. Number 3. Man-Eating Clams There are clams so big in the warm waters of the South Pacific Ocean that they can eat people. At least those are the rumors. The massive clams, which dwell at the bottom of the ocean floor, can grow to be over 4 feet long and weigh upwards of 500 pounds. According to National Geographic, the giant clams achieve their tremendous proportions by feasting mostly on sunshine. Billions of algae live inside the clam's tissue, and both creatures benefit from this relationship. The clam absorbs the sugars and proteins produced from the algae's process of photosynthesis in order to grow itself into a giant size. The algae is perfectly happy with this because they have a safe home away from predators. The giant clam is such a greedy animal that even though it has a successful symbiotic relationship with algae, it still uses a siphon to suck in water and eat plankton that passes by. As for the part about eating humans, that's mostly a myth. There are South Pacific legends of clams so big and so hungry that they feast on curious swimmers. However, the truth is that no human death by giant clam has ever been confirmed. Number 2. The Giant-Brained Octopus The giant Pacific octopus is a truly huge beast that could almost rival the giant squid. It's nowhere near as big as the giant squid. But it is the biggest species of octopus and another truly terrifying monster of the deep. It lives in the coastal regions around Korea and Japan, as well as off the coast of Vancouver Island. The giant Pacific octopus can grow 15 feet across and is one of the smartest sea creatures in the world. For example, an octopus at an aquarium can recognize its caretakers using both sight and smell. The octopus can solve puzzles, is curious and interacts with humans, and they are expert escape artists. The raw intelligence of the gigantic octopus comes from its brains. It has nine brains in total, but you'll never guess how they are each designed to work. Most animals, at least most mammals and reptiles, have a single brain. We use one brain for all of our functions. The octopus goes about things quite differently. It has one central brain that's the biggest, which it uses for the majority of its actions. However, it also has eight smaller brains, one used to control each of its eight arms. The giant-brained octopus is so smart that each of its tentacles literally has its own brain. Number 1. The Leatherback Sea Turtle The leatherback sea turtle can grow to be 7 feet long and weigh over 2,000 pounds. Sure, there are plenty of different turtles in the world. But the leatherback sea turtle is the last surviving member of a family of turtles that goes back 100 million years. It lived at the same time as the dinosaurs and was once prevalent across much of the world. These days, the population of leatherback sea turtles is rapidly declining as they inch closer and closer to extinction. These beautiful reptiles survive the asteroid that killed the dinosaurs but may not survive humanity. There's a lot more to the leatherback sea turtle than just being big and green. For instance, the turtle is known for diving to depths of over 4,000 feet, which is the deepest that any turtle can go. It will stay down there for up to 85 minutes before returning to the surface to take a breath. Unlike a lot of reptiles, the leatherback sea turtle can maintain warm body temperatures even in cold water. This is the reason they grow so big. With its huge body size, it's able to generate and retain its own body heat. Growing larger allowed the turtle to pack on a layer of fat, 
which now enables it to survive in just about any ocean environment. Thanks for watching! What's your favorite giant creature from the deep sea? Let me know in the comments below and be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. See you soon! Bye!